Michael, a tough night at the city ground. What are your thoughts after that? You know, obviously, we're disappointed. Um, it was a bit of a lacklustre second half. I didn't think there was too much in it first half. Obviously, they scored a good goal on there. You know, from their point of view, a great strike. Um, but second half, we wanted to come out and try and blow them away. And we didn't match the energy levels and have the quali quite the quality that we needed. Um, you know, at 2-1, we thought, all right, you know, we can... We might be able to nick it and get back into the game, but I think ultimately they deserve deserve the three points. And like you said, their side never really got going in that first half. Yeah, I think it was quite a bit of a stalemate in the first half. I know they had a few set pieces, and um, you know it was a good goal. But other than that, I didn't think it was a lot in the game. And then second half, I think you know they they grew as the game went on, and, and we didn't match them with their energy, and and you know they took the chances quite well, and and that was the end of the game for us really, especially when they scored the third on the counter attack. After their second goal, Blues got a quick, quick reply, and it looked as though they might uh, grab something out of the game. But then, unfortunately, caught on the counter, like you just said. Yeah, I think when you're chasing the game, you, you know, you do leave yourself susceptible for that. And uh, you know, the, the lads come from a long way, and we'd like to have stopped that at some point. And then, as he's got got the run on, run on us, you know, there's good quality from them. And you know, when you're two-one, you, you're grafting for that for that uh, equaliser and, and you do leave yourself susceptible and, and sometimes it goes through and sometimes it doesn't and today you know, that effectively killed the game off. A bit of a case of giving yourself a little bit too much once you got into your stride. Yeah, I think once we, well, I don't think we even got into our stride as, as much as what we'd have liked. Um, you know, like we so say, we got the goal and we built up a bit of momentum, but that, that soon went flat, you know, and fair play to Forrest. I thought they managed the game quite well, uh, very professional in the way that they did it and uh, we never really got on top of them and, and, and scared them enough, to be honest. And we mustn't forget, this is only Blue's second league defeat of the season, so positives to take for sure. Yeah, I think you know you want to start this run of games with a win, but uh, when you put it in perspective, it's been a very good start. Um, and we've just got to go out Tuesday and try and get the three points. You know, you're know, you not going to win every game. You know, I don't think anyone's going to go undefeated. So for us to, to have just lost our second game, you know, it's, you know, it's good credit to the lads and it's about now how we bounce back on Tuesday. Is it good that... Tuesday comes so quick to try and bounce back with a busy week with Burton on Friday as well. Yeah, I think so. I think you know that's the, the nature of, of the championship. Once one game's gone, that's it. It's done. It's on to the next one, and, and that's certainly what we'll be trying to take the positives out of this one and what we can do better and try and improve and go and take that into Tuesday and try and uh, keep improving our home form.